The Reliance Crematorium site was handed over to the Canefield Enterprise NDC yesterday. Details in this report. The Reliance Crematorium was yesterday handed over to the chairman of the Canefield Enterprise NDC, Mr. Carlos Causeway, by the members of the Reliance Crematorium Committee. The handing over activity took place yesterday at the crematorium site. Chairman of the NDC, Mr. Causeway, along with a few members of the crematorium committee, thanked all the donors for contributing towards the rehabilitation of the site. We would like to thank Ms. Sharda Ramasar for the um, rehabilitation of this crematorium and all of those who would have helped in some way or another. We would like to thank you on behalf of the NDC. Which NDC is it? The Canefield Enterprise NDC. And what's your name? My name is Carlos Cosway, the chairman of the NDC. Okay. Let me thank the donors who give the generous support to get this crematorium in the proper state that we have it now and uh, we are willing to hand over back um, to the NDC and I think that the NDC can make an improvement on it. Okay, I would like to thank um, Shadow Ramisar for the little um, thing he, the, he offered for the crematorium itself, uh, the steel rod and, and the workmanship and the cement and he also, she also fixed the gate. But um, be the committee, we do the painting and the fence and the gate, and the NDC give us stone, and we wash the, com uh, the pavilion, and, and we paint the com pavilion. As being a member of this uh, crematorium committee, I would just like to thank the donors for the materials that they supplied. Never mind, it's not the appropriate material, because the ma appropriate material should have been a fire bricks and fire cement and so forth, and the reef sand. But for now, uh, it is accepted and um, more presentable so that people can come, people can come and, and, and have some, um, some comfort uh, getting rid of their loved ones. Today I feel very happy to come here and see that our people are making preparation for their loved one, that when they come here they must be comfortable, especially we must thank the, the um, people who sponsor the shed. Mostly, mostly cremation happens during the middays. And that is a very important thing that we have something for people to come and sit and they can be a bit more comfortable. A few of the committee members then cautioned the users of the site to always ensure that it is in a clean state. I also want to urge people that when they come to perform crem cremation, that family should work with garbage bag and take all the garbage and don't throw it around the crematorium and mess up the place because it is very nasty sometimes and then we're looking forward for it to be clean so we as the community and the people have to join and keep this place clean and we're looking forward for people to make more donation so that we can make it a better place. Person who are coming this place to destroy it, I think the law should attack in full on, it, on them that this place is a place that all of us have to reach here one day and we have to keep we have to maintain it and keep it very clean and I think that with the new chairman of the NDC I think that we can get an improvement of the crematorium. It looked real uh, upgraded than its previous state right so if everybody can put their hands together, because I think the best way to get rid of a dead is by cremation, right? And, and if we can maintain this facility, right, we can, still, we can still maintain this ground because we are cramped for space now for burial, right? And if um, I may ask, right, that um, we can get some assistance from the estate to get some of those fire bricks, right? We can able to enhance this crematorium and make it uh, in a better state. Regional Chairman Region 6, Mr. David Armagan, was present at the handing over exercise and made these comments. I'm here um, as part of the region actually because um, there was this committee in place to look after this crematorium. And then we have the NDC that has been collecting the money for the crematorium. So I think the crematorium committee has to work very closely with the NDC to make sure that the facilities here 
are upgraded. You know, people have a right to dispose of their relatives in a dignified way. And that is why um, in burial grounds and crematorium sites and so we are trying to assist in terms of making it, you know, um, much better than it used to be before. And that is why when I became regional chairman, um, one of the first things I did was to work on the road coming into this um, into, into this burial site here and this crematorium site. Uh, it was in a very bad state and we find we found money savings from the budget and we did that road. So I'm prepared to at the level of the region to assist in bringing up all these facilities within the region to make sure that people um, can have a dignified places to go and dispose of their, of their loved ones. The Arya Samaj crematorium site is located just a short distance away from the Reliance crematorium and there have been conflicts in the past over the rehabilitation and maintenance of both sites. This was according to founding member of the East Kanji Humanitarian Society and crematorium committee member Ms. Kaulpati Dayaram. I am an Arya Samaj. I want to let the people know I am an Arya Samaj but I am a human being and um, they think I should fix the arts, the marriage one and not here. But both are fixing. And my brother had to burn on this one because it was in a bad state. And I don't know where we have to go and burn. But I think I could help in this way with the committee and, and help the community and fix it. Because three of my brother born here and my mother born here. Also are so much people born here too. And Senatan people go over there and born too. Right? So we doesn't look at our Samaj and Sanatan. We must help because this is a very useful place for all of us. If we are either we bury or we come and born. Cattle owners are being urged to ensure that their animals do not enter the crematorium site. Persons desirous of making donations towards the beautification and enhancement of the crematorium site are asked to contact Miss Diaram on telephone number 326 0272 or any member of the Reliance Crematorium site. Sasha Ramsaran reporting for Channel 8 News.